A 35-year-old Baloch rights activist, Karima Baloch, was found dead under mysterious circumstances in Canada. Fellow Baloch activists say they suspect the role of Pakistan's ISI. She had been a vocal critic of Pakistan government and ISI and had demanded freedom of Balochistan from Pakistan state-sponsored atrocities. On Raksha Bandhan, she had sent out a video message to Prime Minister Narendra Modi saying, you are my Rakhi brother seeking his help in taking forward the cause of the Balochs. Karima Baloch, who spoke against atrocities by the Pak Army, sent a Rakhi to Prime Minister Modi and sought help for Balochis, was found dead on Tuesday in Canada. Canadian police found her body drowned off an island in Toronto's lake shore. In 2016, she escaped from Balochistan with the help of few friends and Baloch activists fearing for her life. This is what Karima had told India today in August 2016. So ISIS and Taliban, not only educators, but intellectual figures in our colleges हैं, उनकी building हैं, उन वहाँ से teachers को और students को भगाया गया और army का कब्जा है। While in exile, Karima kept raising her voice against the atrocities on locals in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. हजारों लोग उठा के गायब कर दिए जाते हैं, घरों को bombardment की जाती है, जो लोग गायब किए जा रहे हैं, मुसलसल उनकी लाशें मिल रही हैं या या वो सालों से ऐसे ही गायब हैं, उनके बारे में कोई मालूमात नहीं मिल रही हमें। She had also appealed to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and sent him a rakhi. आपको बलूचिस्तान की बहनें एक भाई की हैसियत से मानते हैं और आप से ये उम्मीद रखते हैं कि आप बलूच जेनोसाइड बलूचिस्तान में वार क्राइम्स और ह्यूमन राइट्स वायलेशन के खिलाफ इंटरनेशनल फोरम्स पर बलूचों की आवाज बनेंगे और तमाम उन बहनों की आवाज बनेंगे जिनके भाई लापता हैं हपली वाज एक्नॉलेज्ड बाय मोदी इन हिज इंडिपेंडेंस डे स्पीच फ्रॉम रेड फोर्ट ये सम्मान का भाव धन्यवाद का भाव करने वाले बलूचिस्तान के लोगों का गिलगिट के लोगों का पाक के कब्जे वाले कश्मीर के लोगों का मैं आज तहे दिल से आभार व्यक्त करना चाहता हूं Many activists are pointing fingers at Pak spy agency ISI for plotting her murder Karima had used various global platforms to expose the Pakistan government International bodies jo hai UNO hai हम तब तक उनको अपनी आवाज पहुंचाते रहेंगे जब तक हम उन्हें कन्वेंस न कर लें कि पाकिस्तान में बलूचों के साथ जो वार क्राइम्स हो रहे हैं ये जेनोसाइड हो रहा है हम उनके लिए उनको कन्वेंस करेंगे ताकि वो वहां पे सर्वे करें और वहां पे सिचुएशन जो है ना अपनी आंखों से देख लें इंडिया इज नॉट गोइंग टू अप्रोच द इशू डिप्लोमेटिकली विद द कैनेडियन अथॉरिटीज गिवन दैट शी वाज अ बलोच एंड दिस इज अ मैटर ऑफ पाकिस्तान but India certainly has always raised the issue of minority persecution within uh, Pakistan and the rights of Baloch, especially the dissidents and those who have sought exile abroad. Karima's mysterious death comes months after Baloch journalist Sajid Hussain was found dead in similar condition outside Uppsala in Sweden. With Geeta Mohan, Bureau Report, India Today. And former diplomat ambassador Ashok Sajjan Har keeps a hawkeye on Pakistan. He joins us on the broadcast. Ambassador, in their merit in Baloch activists suspecting that Pakistan's ISI could be involved in Karima Baloch's disappearance and her body being found later, eerily similar, as some argue, to what had happened to Sajid 
in Sweden, sir? No, you are very right. You know, the finger uh, of uh, suspicion definitely points uh, towards the Pakistani agencies, uh, Pakistani authorities. And, you know, there's no one else, Gaurav, who has uh, anything to gain by her elimination. It is because, uh, as you have said very rightly yourself and in your report also, it was against the Pakistan army, it was against the Pakistan government, it was against the Pakistan uh, ISI that uh, both uh, Sajid Hussain as well as Karima Baloch, they were uh, uh, talking about their... Uh, oppression, their torture, their rapes, their abduction, the disappearance of uh, so many people. So, and for her and okay. these two countries, you know, Sweden is a very safe country. I have been uh, ambassador of India to that country and I know how safe and secure it is. There are so many people, so many refugees who have uh, been uh, brought there and who are living there in peace. And in a, uh, in a country like that and in Uppsala, it is a uh, university town and therefore Sajid Hussain to be murdered like this and now uh, Karima Baloch to be killed like this on the outskirts of Toronto. I think this is absolutely yes. horrendous. It is uh, in fact shameful for uh, these countries when they are providing asylum to outsiders in who fact, are... Uh, yes, yes, Gaurav. Yes, sir. Uh, because, uh, you know... Uh, ambassador, this is, this is actually an indication... Country. For the world to wake up, the world should wake up because people like David Coleman Headley, people like Major Tahavur Hussein Rana, uh, you know, uh, caught in the United States in connection with 2611 Mumbai terror attacks, they were frankly ISI and Lashkar e Taiba sleeper cells in Canada and in the United States of America. So there could be many other David Headleys and Tahavur Ranas in Canada, in the United States, and in Europe. It's a wake up call for Europe, Canada, and America, sir. No, absolutely. I think both these, uh, uh, you know, what we have seen in Sweden, in Canada, and of course, the uh, rest of United States and in Europe, there would be so many sleeper cells and uh, terrorism has really become a very big issue, a very major issue as far as the, the Western democracies are concerned. So I think they really need, need to take it very seriously. It's not like it's a one-off issue. It uh, deals with uh, someone not of their country, someone who's a refugee, so they can overlook it and just do pro forma investigations. I think they really have to go deep down because this coming Karima's uh, assassination coming uh, months after Sajid Hussain's in Uppsala, I think this is a very, very worrying and a very, very troubling sign, Gaurav. This indeed is Ambassador for the moment. Many thanks for joining me. Uh, we are told that investigations are currently underway in Canada, but that's exactly what is what we were told in Sweden too. But will the world wake up? Because Pakistan will only get emboldened if this is the uh, this is the handiwork of Pakistan's ISI, and if they think they can get away with it in Sweden and in Canada, it's actually a very chilling. Reminder from Pakistan's ISI to other dissidents overseas that they may have they may have gone into exile, but they are not safe from the clutches of Pakistan's ISI. That is all I have time for on the broadcast. Ambassador, many thanks for joining me. A quick break. News and updates continue on India today. Stay with us. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.